hey guys welcome back to disha classes so today we are going to discuss one mark questions about paper 2 and i think we have completed part 1 and now let's complete the part 2 quickly so here's the question evaluate cos secant 39 into secant 51 minus tan 51 into cot 39 try to solve it So here's the answer. Value of cosecant 39 into secant 51 minus tan 51 into cot 39 equals to we can here convert cosecant 39 into secant 51 and we can convert cot 39 into tan 51. So here we know that cosecant 90 minus a equals to secant a and cot 90 minus a equals to tan a. That gives us secant into secant secant square 51 tan into tan tan square 51 by trigonometric identity we get that secant square a minus tan square a equals to 1 therefore the value of cosecant 39 into secant 51 minus tan 51 into cot 39 equals to 1 the next question if a letter is chosen at random from the english alphabet find the probability that the letter is consonant So we have total alphabets in English are 26. From that, 5 are vowels and consonants are 21. Probability equals to number of favorable terms by total terms. So what we need is if a letter is chosen at random from the English alphabet, find the probability that the letter is constant. Sorry, consonant. Consonant terms are 21. So favorable are 21 and total are 26. So we get 21 by 26 as probability. The point P is 25 cm from the center O of the circle. The length of the tangent drawn from P to the circle is 24 cm. Find the radius of the circle. So here's the diagram. So point P is 25 cm away from the center of the circle O. The length of the tangent drawn is 24 cm that is AP. So now we have to find the radius. Here we can use Pythagoras theorem. So here you go. We are using Pythagoras theorem. OP square equals to OA square plus AP square. We get OA square equals to 49. OA equals to 7 cm. Right? Hence the radius of the circle is 7 cm. Yes. The problem is completed. Next one. Find the medium of first seven composite numbers. The medium are four, six, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14. So, first 7 composite numbers are 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14. So, we arrange this in ascending or descending order before finding the medium. So, total numbers are 7. So, it is odd. For odd, median equals to 1 plus 1 by 2. So, add 1 to 7 and divide by 2. So, we get 1 plus 7 by 2 that equals to 8 by 2 and we get 4. So we got fourth term as the medium and if we see in ascending or descending order ninth is the fourth term so we can take median as nine here so our answer becomes nine in a hemispherical ball of 2.1 centimeter radius ice cream is there find the volume of the ball The shape of the ball is going to be hemisphere. hemispherical. So radius of hemispherical ball equals to 2.1 centimeter as it's given here. 
so volume equals to 2 pi p pi into radius q so here we can write volume equals to 2 by 3 pi into radius given as 2.1 centimeter that gives us 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 9.261 we get the answer as 19.40 cubic meter so the volume of spherical ball in which ice cream is present is 19.40 centimeter cube In the given figure triangle ABC and triangle ADE then find the value of x so here's the figure ABC ADE we can use similar similarity properties here so these two triangles are similar so we get AB AB by AD equals to BC by DE AC by AE so we, we have values of AC by AE and BC by DE so we can substitute them so we get 3 by 6 equals to 5 by X 3 by 6 equals to 5 by X we get 1 by 2 equals to 5 by x. 3 1s are 6 2s. 1 by 2 equals to 5 by x. After cross multiplying, we get x as 10. So the value of x here is 10. So the length of BC that is x equals to 10 centimeters. Find the probability of getting a sum of numbers on them is 7 when two dice are rolled at a time. Let's take a look at the probability for one of those sums. There are 6 into 6. We get 6 results while we throw a dice. And we have 2 dice here. So 6 into 6, 36 results. So there are 36 different results of 2 dice that are 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 2, 1, and up to 2, 6, 3, 1, up to 3, 6, like this till 6, 6. So the probability of each one. So like if we if I want one comma one out of this thirty six, so the probability would be one by thirty six, right? If I want one comma one and one comma two, the probability will be two by thirty six. That will be one by eighteen. So now he's asking sum of the numbers on them is seven. So we need whose sum is seven. So here we get six plus one is seven. 2 plus 5 is 7, 3 comma 4 is 7, 4 comma 3 is 7, 5 comma 2 is 7 and 6 comma 1 is 7. So we have 6 favorable combinations. So the probability would be 6 by 36. Favorable terms by total terms. That equals to 1 by 30, 1 by 6. Right? 6 by Now look at the next term. If the surface area of a hemisphere is S, then express R in S terms. So here the surface area of a hemisphere is S. Then express R in terms of S. So we know surface area equals to 4 pi R square surface area of hemisphere equals to 4 pi r square volume equals to v so surface area equals to 4 pi r square so we take r square as it is and we send 4 pi to the denominator of surface area so we get volume equals to 4 by 3 pi r cube r cube equals to v by 4 by 3 pi here r cube equals to v by 4 pi by 3 as pi goes to 4 then we can write here as r cube equals to v into 3 by 4 pi 
r cube equals to 3v by 4 pi now here yeah, r square we send one r to the denominator 3v by 4 pi in by r so r square equals to 3v by 4 pi r or r equals to root over 3v by 4 pi r So next one, if the angle of elevation of sun increases from 0 degree to 90 degrees, then the length of shadow of a tower decreases. Is this statement true? Justify your answer. So yes, this statement is true. As angle of elevation of sun increases, Till 90 degrees from zero the length of the shadow decreases when the sun rises in the morning as the sun rises the shadow of an object decreases at the afternoon the shadow when the sun will be at the top the shadow will be at zero degrees so first from the morning it will be at 90 degrees slowly it decreases it decreases till the afternoon and it comes at zero degrees and from then again it starts to increase till the evening so here is given the length of the shadow of tower will be given by distance between bottom of the tower to the point where sunlight rays hit the ground which is coming from top of the tower. That distance will become less as sun elevation angle increases. As the sun comes to top of the object, the shadow, the angle of elevation to the object decreases. So the shadow also decreases. If sin a equals to 1 by root 2 and cot b equals to 1, prove that sin a plus b equals to 1, where a and b are both acute angles. So angles a and b are given. Sin a equals to 1 by root 2. So in sin, 1 by root 2 is the value of sin 45. If you know the table of the trigonometric values, we can do this problem very easily. So 1 by root 2 is the value of sine 45 and 1 is the value of cot 45 in the terms of cot. So b equals to 45 here cot and cot gets cancelled because cot b equals to cot 45 and sine a equals to sine 45. Sine sine get cancelled a equals to 45 b equals to 45. So now we have to do this as sine a plus b. So sine, sine of 45 plus 45 sin 90 equals to 1 here is the value of sin a plus b so we proved that sin a plus b equals to 1 the length of the minute hand of a clock is 3.5 cm find the area swept by the minute hand in 30 minutes The area swept by the minute hand in 30 minutes in the length of the minute hand of clock is 3.5 cm as it's given 3.5 cm. So area equals to pi r square by 2. 22 by 7 into 3.5 whole square by 2. So we get 19.25 cm square. We are taking here 30 minutes as 2. We are taking it in hours 1 by 2. So we are taking area as pi r square by 2. Otherwise formula of area is pi r square only. Right? So next 12th one is express cos theta in terms of tan theta. cos theta we can write in terms of secant theta as 1 by secant theta and there we can write it as 1 by root over secant square theta as square and root will get cancelled we get again 1 by secant theta only so we know that secant square theta equals to 1 plus tan square theta that equals to 1 by root over 1 plus tan square theta 
so here's the value of cos theta in terms of tan theta see first we converted cos theta into secant theta then we wrote it in square then we use the formula secant square theta minus tan square theta equals to 1 that equals to 1 plus tan square theta. next from the first 50 natural numbers find the probability of randomly selected number is a multiple of 3 so here we have to find the probability of a number getting randomly selected and it's a multiple of 3 from the first 50 natural numbers so what are natural numbers the numbers from 1 to infinity are known as natural numbers and the numbers from 0 to infinity are known as, are known as whole numbers so s equals to that are natural numbers equals to 1 2 3 so on up to 50 we are taking here up to 50 only because we have been given that only first 50 natural numbers not more than that so n of s equals to 50 let a be the event so the number selected is a multiple of 3 so what are multiple of 3 3 6 9 15 18 2 21 24 27 like this up to 48 we take only up to 48 because we have been given that first 50 natural numbers only so number of favorable terms are 16 and total terms are 50 the probability would be 8 by 25 as 2 as we divide it 2 8 is 16 2 times of 25 equals to 50 so 8 by 25 therefore the probability of the selected number is a multiple of 3 is 8 by 25 right write the formula of to find curved surface area of a cone and explain each term in it So the curved surface area of cone is pi r l. So here pi equals to pi 3.14 r equals to radius of base of cone l equals to slant height of cone. Right? If you need, you can draw a diagram too. The median of observations minus 2, 5, 3, minus 1, 4, 6 is 3.5. Is it correct? So we have to find the median of these observations. Let us see. So the numbers should be arranged as it is as in ascending or descending order. So we have arranged in ascending order. First minus 2, then minus 1, then 3, 4, 5, 6. So how many terms are there? 6 terms. So we add the 3rd and 4th term that are 3 plus 4 by 2. That equals to 7 by 2. That gives us 3.5 as the median. So it is correct. If cos theta is 1 by 2, then find the value of 4 plus cot theta. If cos theta is 1 by 2, he is asking us to find 4 plus cot theta. We are given is cos theta equals to 1 by 2, cos theta equals to cos 60. If we see in the table of trigonometric values, we get cos 60 equals to 1 by 2, right? So theta equals to 60 degrees. So theta equals to 60. Here now we have to find 4 plus cot theta. So theta value is constant here, right? 4 plus cot 60. So we get cos 60 value as 1 by root 3 in the table. 4 plus 1 by root 3, right? 4 root 3. We here take LCM. So root 3 goes here. 4 root 3 plus 1 by root 3, right? So the value of 4 plus cot theta equals to 4 root 3 plus 1 by root 3. Next question If a cylinder and a cone are of the same radius and height, then how many cones full of milk can fill the cylinder? Answer with reasons. So they are a cylinder and a cone of same radius and height. Is asking us to find how many cones full of milk can fill the cylinder so it's an easy question just we have to equate the formulas of volume of cone and volume of cylinder here so 
let us take cone and cylinder are of same radius and same height as given in the question suppose the x number of cones so we multiply x into volume of cone he is asking us how many cones so we are multiplying x into volume of cone that equals to volume of cylinder so x into 1 by 3 pi r square h equals to pi r square h volume of cylinder is pi r square h volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h so x equals to 3 how pi r square h pi r square h gets cancelled right so x into 1 by 3 equals to 1 so x equals to this 3 goes to the RHS so we get x equals to 3 so 3 number of cones full of milk can fill the cylinder right so here we have two triangles in triangle DEF ABC are midpoints of E of FD and DE and in triangle DEF we have the area of triangle DEF as 14.4 cm so he's asking us to find the area of triangle ABC so by theorem we have in theorem the area of triangle formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of a triangle is one for the area of the original triangle so we get area of triangle ABC equals to 1 by 4 into area of triangle DEF that equals to 1 by 4 into 14.4 as we have the area of triangle DEF as 14.4 so 1 by 4 into 14.4 equals to 3.8 centimeter thus the area of triangle ABC is 3.8 centimeter square right don't forget to write the square when a dice is rolled once unbi unbiased what is the probability of getting multiple of 3 out of possible outcomes so a die is rolled unbiased and he's asking us the probability of getting multiple of 3 so on a dash on a die we have 6 results that are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and out of these the multiples of 3 are only 3 and 6 so we have our favorable terms as 2 and total terms as 6 so the probability is 1 by 3 prove that tan 2 theta cos 2 theta equals to 1 minus cos 2 theta tan 2 theta into cos 2 theta equals to 1 minus cos 2 theta You can write tan 2 theta in terms of sin 2 theta by cos 2 theta and into multiply of cos 2 theta so we here we can cancel cos 2 theta and cos 2 theta we get it as sin 2 theta so we can write sin 2 theta as 1 minus cos 2 theta right so it's equals to our RHS right so we have proved LHS equals to RHS How many tangents can be drawn to a circle from a point on the same circle? Justify your answer. So he is asking us how many tangents can be drawn from a circle from a point on the same circle. So it's one and only one tangent can be drawn because we can draw only one tangent from a point inside the circle that is parallel line. We can't draw any more than that because the tangent must form right angle with the radius to that point. And naturally only one ray can form a right angle with a given line segment so we can't draw more than one tangent to a circle from a point on that circle only so yes last question a person from top of a building of height 25 meter has observed an, another building stop and bottom at an angle of elevation 45 degrees and at an angle of depression 60 degrees respectively draw a diagram for this data he is asking us to draw a diagram so he has a diagram a person from a top of a building of height 25 cm here on A he is standing he is observing another building tops and bottom at an angle of elevation 45 degrees and 60 degrees he has the angle of elevation of 45 degrees towards D and angle of depression of 60 degrees towards C so here the man is standing at the top of building and he is looking at D and he is looking at the bottom of the building at C right